Okay, what we want to do now that we have a module set up, I'll click on the modules. We had a learning about Canvas module set up. We added everything to the module. We came up and edited the module and put uh, requirements on every item. We learned how to put in a table of contents that will uh, make this page look a little prettier with a progress bar on how to do it. So what we want to do now is if the entire module is completed, we want to um, issue a, a completion badge for the student. So um, badging um, is a, a big thing. It's a big thing uh, everywhere, just not just from um, issuing badges for module completion, but there's issuing badges for different universities will issue badges for different teacher certifications. Um, there's all kinds of things where you can progress through some kind of learning and, and earn uh, badges. This is called kind of gamification of um, Canvas, so you can uh, kind of turn it into kind of a game because they're going to progress through things and they're trying to earn a series of badges for different things. And uh, we have badges built already into Canvas. Um, the badging uh, website that Canvas uses is called badger.com. That's with bad, like, like the animal badger, but without an E, B-A-D-G-R.com. Um, and that's where we're going to create our badges, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to hook up a badge to this particular module so when the progress bar gets all the way to 100%, they'll have a badge that they have earned, and we'll show you how that all looks. So the first thing we want to do is we actually want to go out to badger.com, and it kind of looks like this. Um, you can do a lot of this right inside Canvas too, but I thought it'd just be easier to just go out to this website and kind of show you how it works. So um, I'm just going to sign in. Uh, you might have to actually you know, sign up free. You're going to use your Google account. So sign in. I'm going to click Google and uh, click my account. And I have um, a whole bunch of badges that I already have in here. So the first thing you have to do, and this is a kind of a bizarre thing and kind of weird and hard to understand, is you have to create an issuer, a badge issuer. I have two badge issuers here. I don't really need to, but I just kind of did it. So this first one here, um, they're both called Mark Herman. So this first one here is badges that I'm making for all my classes. This one here is like badges that I'm making for um, any kind of UCSD uh, things. Um, if, I, if I click on this issuer and I just kind of show it to you, it, it explains what the issuer is and it has issuer badges. So badges that got issued by this particular issuer, they're all down here. These are all just things I use in, in, uh, in my courses. Uh, if I click on this other one here, um, these are some badges I've made for um, things that I'm doing for Urbandale. Okay. So the first thing you actually have to do is create an issuer. So this is, you know, kind of a bizarre thing, but you'll just do this one time and you can just use the same issuer all the time for any badges you ever make. So I'm going to click create issuer. I'm just going to run you through this. You can do an issuer name, um, whatever, fake issuer. I'm just going to kind of fill some stuff out. Issuer website, just go ahead and put urbandaleschools.com. Select an email address, select your address, issuer description. Uh, this issuer will issue badges for my class. Later on, if you kind of understand this a little bit more, you can kind of go back in and change something. I can actually upload an image for my issuer. Um, I need to click I have read and agree to the data processor addendum. You don't have to, just click it. Um, organization name, um, I don't know, just type in your name, or you could do select same as, same as issuer name. Organization type, I'm going to do K-12 through education. What will this issuer's badges represent? Skills and competencies, I'll say. Who will be earning badges? Students will be. How many badge recipients does the issuer expect to have per year under 500? So this seems kind of really all weird and serious. Um, that's because badging is pretty serious in a lot of different universities and places and stuff. Um, you just got to fill this out, so don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. We'd like to stay in touch. Um, I wouldn't do any of those things. Okay, so I'm going to create an issuer, 
And so it worked. Okay, so I have an issuer. So what I can do then is I can create badges in the issuer. So I have no badges in here right now. So I'm going to click create a badge. And there's a couple ways to do this. So um, you're going to name, name the badge. So I'm going to say um, Canvas Learning. So I'm going to make a badge for the module that I made, Canvas Learning. And then what you can do is just upload a, an image for the badge. And technically, that's the way I do it. So let's just drop down here for a second. Description, summarize what this badge represents. This badge is given to anyone who completes the learning about Canvas module. Something like that is a description. Okay, display on the issuer public page. That's all good. Earning criteria, you don't have to worry about this stuff. So what you can do is you can uh, make an image in some kind of, you know, um, image making uh, program that you want. So like the art teachers, you know, they're going to have their own kind of really amazing, cool stuff. So they can just make, a, um, make an image and just upload it here. Okay, that's technically what I do. So I actually use Canva. And everybody has access to Canva now because we hooked that up to Canvas. So Canva is like, a, you know, you can make different images and stuff. So I just uh, create an image and I, I use 500 by 500 pixels. And I just create some kind of a badge in, in that area. So like here's the statics badge that I made. And when I click, um, I, I just create stuff. You can bring in little elements and all kinds of stuff in Canva. Canva is something you, sh you should probably learn about and how to make cool stuff. And if I click share, I can uh, download. And what I would always do is click transparent background. So this part out here is actually transparent. You can download it. And then you can just, uh, I'm not going to do that right now. And then you can just upload it into here and you'll have a badge in there. Or what you can do is you can design a badge right in Badger. Now you don't have as much cool things you can do, but you can just click on design badge. And it just puts some kind of random badge up here. So there's badge shapes. I could click like this. Um, badge style. I can customize it and do some different colors and kinds of things. Presets. Um, I can do different uh, images. I'll put a studying person in there. Outer fill. I'll make it, I don't know, green. Um, Outer, whatever. There's a whole bunch of stuff here you can learn how to do stuff. I don't actually use this part, so I'm not going to worry about it. But that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to click, uh, um, let's see, do I have to click upload that image? Yeah. So that's my image that I'm just going to make, okay? Learning about Canvas. Is that going to do it for me? Is that going to work? Okay, it did. This badge is given to anyone who completes it. Okay, so there I have it. There's, an, a, ba there's a badge. Um, it's in my fake issuer. Fake issuer. There's all my issuers. Again, I click view issuer, and I should have a badge in there now. So there's a badge in there. Okay. So you can work on badger.com and, and make a whole bunch of badges and stuff for different things and stuff. But how does this work then in Canvas? So anything you're doing, doing in here is going to be available on Canvas. So I'm going to go back to our module here. Okay, so here's our module, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the left. I'm going to click on Badges, okay, and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up here in, under the Objectives tab. It's going to have um, a whole bunch of names of modules that you have in here, and um, what you can do is in, in, you can actually come down here and click Change Issuer, and you'll see all your issuers in here. So I could change it to this, is select this issuer if I want. I'm going to keep it on this particular issue here, and I'm in. So it gives you the module names, and you can come here to the badge. This is very simple, and the badge is going to show me all the um, all the badges that I have in that particular issuer, and I'm going to click like you approved. I'm going to have that on there, and then the type says complete module, and that's all you got to do. So anybody that completes that particular module is going to be able to earn this particular badge. So that's how I assign a badge to the module and video that I'm going to show with the progress in the leaderboard. So that's how you use Badger. Um, as you get into it and really kind of get going on it, you will probably learn a ton more than what I just uh, told you. And then you can make a video to help other people. So thank you very much.